YouTube. What is up? It's your boy Tez back with another reaction video. Not today. We're getting right to it, man. Uh, over side about a week ago. I don't even know how I miss how I missed this video, but he dropped his top 25 NBA players list uh, for 2022, the 2021 2022 season coming up. Your uh, summer league just started back. Um, so it's right around the corner. The season's right around the corner, and it, and it literally just ended, which is crazy. But right around the corner. So we're gonna see who Clark or Oversight, one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, that's that's three. I think I've named three now. Three YouTubers that inspired me to start YouTube. I, I think he's the third one. I don't know if I told y'all that before. I think I mentioned Cash Nasty Flight before. Oh, besides the third one, there's two more that inspired me and said, hey, yeah, maybe I should try YouTube. He's the third person that inspired me to do it. It's five of them, but anyway, top 25. Now, when, when it comes to Oh, besides in basketball, I know that he's a, I guess I could say I he's a you, he's a uh, big basketball fan. We both are LeBron fans, uh, but when it comes to his knowledge of basketball and rosters, and who's top, like top of top, who's better than who? We disagree on a lot of those. When he made his video like four or five months ago, uh, he made another top 25 video. I didn't agree with most of it. I thought he was reaching a little bit. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna agree on most of this. We're probably gonna disagree on a lot of it, right? So this is what I will do, right? It, it, it won't be today because I don't want this video to be too long. Because in here, I got some, I got some pretty long videos today. Hopefully, you guys see what we be doing. But I'm gonna drop my top 25 as well. I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do that maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Top 25 coming Friday. I got a lot of stuff, including lists for. Hey, I ain't gonna get into all the heat. You know what I'm talking about? I got a lot of stuff I'm, I'm trying to do. Uh, but let's get into the video. I'm talking too much. I'm rambling. Let's get into the video. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Uh, please like and comment. Comment what you want me to react to. But please like. Push my uh, videos out there to the algorithm. Uh, Help your boy become a successful YouTuber. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. He finna, I know he finna say some stuff that I don't agree with, bro. Bet you I think he was gonna get this video. <laughs> Let's okay. Go. I know I say this all the time. I really think this is the best list I ever made. Normally I wait hopefully, for like uh, the season to do a video like this. Hopefully y'all can hear me pretty decent with this, this video. You know what I'm I changed my mic. Your boy coming on now, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I formed it today. I looked at the stats for every single oh, player that I'm about to name in this top 30, okay? I know the stats of every okay, single one of them. Cool, cool. Okay, I know exactly what every single one of them is this on. year. Hold on. Okay? So this, honestly, I think is the best list I ever made. So we just going to hop right into it. Um, Number one, I have Brian. You know what I'm saying? You gotta knock Brian off the you gotta knock Brian off the throne. He got hurt. I have no reason to believe he's not number one. I'm not even here to argue that. I'm not here to debate that. Gotta get my one. drink, guys. Number two, I got KD. Okay? I'm not here to even debate that. KD's number two. He's number two. Alright. He can get forty in the show. Gotcha. You know? He's okay. number two. Really not too much. I'm to gonna stop it at every number three, I have Giannis. I'm gonna stop it every top That's five. At the five the four, last, then ten, four, fifteen. You know what I'm saying. After seeing what Giannis did. I'm going Giannis. Okay. Do I think he's a more At least skilled say something crazy. than Harden? I don't know. I feel like Harden Denver got the most offense out of everybody on this list. Okay. Um, but if I was building a team, mm -hmm. I'd probably take Giannis. He's the most consistent player damn near on this list. Yeah. You know, he can get 30 every single he game. He can. You know what I'm saying? He's more. Hey, we agreeing yeah, right now. That's, that's cool. We agreeing right now. Who you got five? At number five, I have AD. Ooh. Okay. At six, I have Stephen Curry. Some of you Wait. guys might want to put Stephen Curry above AD. Yeah. Some of you idiots might even want to put him above Harden. No, not above Harden. Uh. Harden and AD's 
effect on a team is is is, is stronger than Steph. No, if you put AD or Harden on that same Warriors team. I think at one hundred percent, not AD injured because okay. AD been injured for the last six yeah. months. I'm talking about AD at one hundred percent. Yeah. He's going to have more of an impact than Stephen Curry, in my opinion. Okay. Now, reacting to what he just said, that Harden and... and... No, I don't think so. Number one, we've seen uh, AD healthy. Once again, let me just say, AD is my guy, fellow Kentuckian. (laughs) Kentucky, baby. Uh, And... I mean, I ain't got a problem with Harden either, but we've seen AD before we got with the Lakers... I mean, he was a good player. He was like, he was a better, I, I don't really want to, he was a better Kevin Love, bro. He made it to the playoffs, I think the year that Boogie came over. Other than that, I don't remember Anthony Davis just being in the playoffs other than when Boogie came over. He never made a deep run. I for sure, for sure know he ain't made no deep run. And and Curry, Curry changed. The, people don't want to give Curry that his credit, bro. Like I, I had this, these arguments. Shout out to shout out to my cousin Cuddle. I have these arguments with my cousin all the time. Uh, I I understand that Curry changed the game. You know what I'm talking about with with the three ball and and all of that. 2015, right? It was a good year for Curry, bro. He he he's the first unanimous MVP. He's the first. It's it's only one of those. I mean, it's him. Now Anthony Davis does not have an MVP. Harden don't have any rings. He just doesn't. I mean, in Harden. We've seen Harden not play on a team like Steph played on this year because he left. He left okay uh not okay see. He left uh Houston this year when 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 it got real tough. Harden was out of there. He was he's a runner, he's a drug star. He was gone. He he ran out of there. He had to get gone. He was road runner. He was in the script club with little baby. <laughs> He was in the, he was in there with, with little baby and lemon pepper Lou. He was in the clap clap. He was gone, bro. So to say that his effect is he got more effect on the team than Curry when Curry Curry runs that team, bro. Even yeah, bro. I don't I don't agree with what he's saying right here, and I don't want to keep talking on it. Cause I keep rambling and rambling. This is a it's a pretty short video, but I don't want to make it a long video because I got some long video today. Stay with me, guys. Let's get back. I don't agree with that though. You know, um, that AD that we seen in the playoffs last year, not this season, last year. He's he's not better than Steph though, bro. He was dominant. AD, you know? AD so that's not. Sort of what, that's sort of the AD that I still think that he is. AD, AD is not top five. Top 10, he's not top 5. I'm going to keep saying this. My list coming soon. My list coming Friday. List coming Friday. AD's not top 5. He's top 10. Just let them say on it. So I've got that AD a notch above Curry. Okay. I'm sorry. With no um, MVP. At number Steph 7, has I have Kawhi. Kawhi. Ooh. Kawhi. You know, he's not. You know, he's Kawhi. I know. I said I was going to stop at every 5. My nigga, my nigga, I can't put, I can't, I can't put AD over Kawhi. How do you put AD over Kawhi? No, my nigga, no, my nigga, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this list is terrible already. You can't put AD over Kawhi. Bro, no, this, this, no, bro. Am I just going, wait a minute. Let me think about if I was building the team, who would I take? Give me like ten seconds. 
I'm taking Kawhi. I'm taking Kawhi. Both of them, both of them get as injury prone, right? Both of them gets hurt, right? But who can I, who can I depend on more? Like when they're on the court, who can I depend on more? I'm, I'm, I, I think I go with Kawhi. Here. But my thing is that I'm, I'm starting to think about is we only have seen Kawhi. I don't think we've seen Kawhi on a bad team, bro. Have we ever seen Kawhi on a bad team? Because we all know the Spurs was great. Toronto, obviously, was great. They went, well, not great. That was a good team to get to the playoffs. The Brun went to the West, but they was making it to the conference final before he got there. I might have to agree with Clark. Cause yeah, he yeah he was uh, he's won two final MVPs, but one of them for, was just because he played defense on Bron, and the other one was just because well he was the best player out there in injuries. I might have to agree with Clark, bro. That's wild. Okay, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna stay out for this one. I'm gonna stay off of this one. I take my statement back. A few years back. ago, he would have been higher on this okay, list. Okay, cool, cool. But I gotta put him over these next few guys. You know what I'm saying? Like he's still better than these next few right, guys. Right, right, so right. I feel like that's the best spot for him. Making a huge, huge leap. Who? At number eight. Eight. I have Luca. Over. He had a really big year. Mm. I know you guys probably wanted to see that. I'm not ready to put him over Kawhi or Curry. I think eight is a great spot for him. I take Luka over and Jokic. Then at nine, I have Jokic. Okay, who just won MVP. Yeah, he just did. At ten, I have Embiid. Okay, notch just a notch below Jokic. I would take Jokic over Embiid. I think we all would, right? Ah, um, uh, and yeah, that's my top ten. Okay, let's talk about the top ten real quick. Real quick, just top ten. Just a recap of the top ten. Uh. Now, if Jokic and Embiid is healthy, I'm taking Embiid. Simple, simply because Embiid is gonna give me, uh, give it to me on, on both ends. You know what I'm talking about? He's gonna play offense. He's gonna give me some offense. He's gonna give me some defense. If he can stay healthy, he's better than uh, Jokic to me. Luca, Luca's good. The Kawhi thing got me thinking because he always been on good teams, even though he's won two final MVPs. Clark, you might be on to something. I gotta stop calling Clark. Upside, you might be on to something right there. Now, the Steph Curry thing, I don't agree. I don't. I probably would put AD. AD going seven. Stephen Curry going five for me. Kawhi goes six. That's, that's my opinion, right? My list coming Friday, though. I ain't going to give y'all no more hints of what is going to be what. And by the way, Brian is not number one. Yes, I know. It's a shocker, but it's not number one on my list. You'll see Friday when the list comes out. <coughs> yeah, let's get it. Let's get back into it. Let's get to the rest of this. Uh, like I said, I think my top ten is flawless. It's not though. It's not flawless. It it's not flawless. Definitely not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not flawless. Top twenty. Let's let's get to the rest of this ten. Which was 15, rather. Okay, at number 11, I have Damian Lillard. Take a look at the stats. Dang. Him and Embiid did just about the same, but I got Embiid. No, no, more. Clark, you're wrong. His team did a little bit more winning. You know what I mean? So, no. Nah. I got Embiid over Dame. Oh, Embiid over Dame. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Book? No. No. Uh, and I put him over people like no. Bradley Bill. Okay. Just because you okay. know Bradley Beal had more points. I can understand that one right he was there. He on a boo-boo team. I don't think Book is over. Devin Booker took him all the way to the finals. Devin Booker is better than Bradley Beal. I don't disagree with that. Sorry. I got I got Devin Booker ahead of Jason Tatum, too. I don't agree with that. I have to have Jason Tatum ahead of Bradley Beal. I don't agree. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. It's a I lot. Know. It's a lot packed into this. Now, do I don't agree... I don't agree 
Well, number one, let's address it. Clark don't like Chris Paul, right? He does not like Chris Paul. But if we're being honest, Devin Booker would not have been in the finals if it was not for Chris Paul. Devin Booker would not have been in the playoffs if it was not for Chris Paul. That's facts. Simple. Everybody knows that except him. So, with with that being said, to say that he's better than Jason Tatum, when Jason Tatum has, you know, of course he got Jalen Brown, but it's such a young group, bro. And he's really led that team of the subjects to, to – they went to the conference finals, my guy. Yeah, they lost, but D-Book, D-Book wasn't doing that before Chris Paul got there, bro. But they a young squad too, though. But Jason Jason Tatum is better than Devin Booker. Once again, and, and this kills me to say, it really does. Trust me, bro. It, it kills me to say because Jason Tatum – He's a dookie. He's a dookie, bro. It doesn't look a wildcat. Come on, bro. But I got to be honest. I got to be fair, bro. Jason Tatum is better than Devin Booker. Even though Devin Booker did went to the finals before him. I mean, it's, it's, it's facts. I'm taking Jason Tatum over Devin Booker. Now, with these four... Like right here, I think it's Jason Tatum, Damian Lillard, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal. If I had to put those four in order, that's just me. That's just what I would do. But is Devin Booker better than Bradley Beal? I would put him over Bradley Beal. I would take I would take D Book before I took Brad Beal, and Brad Beal is a hell of a player, bro. But no. But that's just my opinion. Once again, let's get right into it. I don't want this to be too. That might seem crazy. It's, it's very crazy. Considering Bradley Bill had better stats. No, but I ain't talking about the stats. I think I think Tatum's better. I know. Some, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, I'm sure I'm yeah. not the only one who thinks Tatum's better than Bradley. I got Tatum a little bit better than Bradley. Okay. Bill. Um. So. Okay. Again, list is still completely flawless. It's, it, in my it's opinion. not though. Paul George, I've got him a notch above Donovan Mitchell. Oh. Even though Mitchell had better stats this year. Oh, I'm gonna lean in a little bit because. Came down to it in the playoffs. Paul George was whooping that ass. No Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? So, Paul George is still a, a little bit better than Donovan Mitchell when it comes down okay. to it. And then the 17 and 18, I have Kyrie and Russell. Okay, this is another thing. I know I'm pausing a lot, but I I, I knew that I was going to be pausing a lot. Please just hang in with me, bro. He put Devin Booker over Paul George. Right, I don't think D book better than Paul George, bro. I'm I'm not giving D book that, not yet. Now D book come, come and go crazy this year. I still don't I don't know. It depends on what Paul George. Paul George was just almost the MVP, bro. My nigga, he was just almost the MVP, my nigga. So I don't think D book is better than. I don't think D-Book is better than Paul George. I don't think D-Book is better than Donovan Mitchell. I'm not giving him that. I don't think I don't think D-Book is better than Donovan Mitchell simply because one of these niggas is leading their teams to the playoffs. Yeah, he got... Let's just see if Phoenix... Let's see if Phoenix does it again. But he, Let's just see if he do it, does it again. But... Di- Donovan Mitchell, and he doing it. Well, Devin Booker in the West, too. But still, bro, that team that – I have to look at the teams, bro. This is just – I'm just about – what the hell is that, man? I'm just about let it, bro. I knew he was going to make me think. I wish – I wish I had my niggas here. I might need to look at this video again with my niggas with the Crunch Time Podcast and debate it. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to debate this list on the Crunch Time Podcast. (laughs) Let's get back into this, though, bro. But I don't agree with this so far. And I haven't seen Westbrook. Where's Westbrook? Kyrie had really good stats this year. So did Russell. Whoa, whoa. I'll give Whoa, Donovan Mitchell. I'm 
I'm not taking Donovan Mitchell over Kyrie Irving. I'm not taking Donovan Mitchell over Kyrie Irving. And now I'm starting to realize that what he's, what he's, what he's, I'm starting to realize what he's uh, doing now, right? Because I just said something to contradict myself, honestly. Do I think Donovan Mitchell is better than Kyrie? No. And Kyrie haven't, he hasn't led a team to the playoffs either, bro. So I'm really contradicting myself right now, honestly. I'm honest. I'm an honest guy. Hey, that's what I'm saying. I'm an honest guy. But this is this really makes you think when you just look at it. But I think that we all know that Kyrie is a better player than Donovan Mitchell. Hell, even I think Russell Westbrook is a better player than Donovan Mitchell. Man, I gotta man, this is make man. Hey, my list is gonna be flawless, bro. Just looking at his list, the way I'm thinking right now, my shit gonna be too flawless. His shit is wrong. Slight edge. His shit at nineteen I have Clay Thompson. Even though he didn't play this okay. season, Chris Middleton only averaged 20, 20 points this 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 season. There's a lot of games where Chris Middleton disappeared, you know? When he needed to in the in the playoffs, obviously he was there. So maybe I should give him the edge above Clay Thompson. He's not a better player than Clay. But I just feel like when Clay Thompson comes right. back, he's gonna be better than Chris when he comes. He's going back. to average at least twenty-two. Yeah. So. Okay. I don't know. I guess you could flip those if you want. Okay. So you. Now. And that's my top twenty. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's talk about this just real quick. This is after the season ended. Why the fuck is Chris Paul not top 20, bro? Why? Why is he not top 20? Chris Paul is still top 20, bro. He's still top 20, at least. Now, you got fucking... Bro, you can't fucking put... My nigga, you can't fucking put Chris Middleton up here before Chris Paul. That doesn't... No, my nigga. No, my nigga. You can't put... You can't put a nigga that was hurt this year in front of Chris Paul, my nigga. He was hurt. How the fuck is you putting him in front of Chris Paul this year? My nigga got Bradley Bill over Chris Paul. It's tough, bro. Oh, besides, get that head out your heart, dog. Chris Paul is dead nigga, man. If he's not top... And then the top 21... If he, I mean, 21 through 30 is like... I if Chris guess, Paul ain't in this, bro, I swear to God, bro. Some changes the list is discounted if Chris Paul not in it. I think the top 20 is spot on, but if you want to change some stuff in the top 20 through 30, you can. Just go ahead and take a look at it in its entirety. Okay, right wait. Here. Before we even speak, before we even speak, before we even speak, let me bad this camera up because I'm going to have to get into... Make this up a little bit. Hold on. This nigga, oh my God, bro. He got Chris Paul at 30, my nigga. What? How the fuck is Chris Paul 30? Nigga, Zach Levine is not better than Chris Paul. This nigga put Zion over Chris Paul, my nigga. What? What? Not yet, my nigga. What? This nigga put Julius. <laughs> hey, bro, my nigga put Julius. Hey, I don't mind. I don't mind you putting my my Kentucky guys up there, Clark. But man, hey, man, you gotta be real with yourself, baby boy. This list is ass. <laughs> this list is ass, my nigga. For real, this shit is ass. <laughs> it's so it's so biased, bro. This nigga's not number thirty, bro. You cannot put. Rudy Gobert over fucking Chris Paul, my nigga. You disqualified off that alone, my nigga. The fuck? Downs, Trey. Trey, just a notch above Julius. Wait. Julius, just a notch above Zion. Whoa. Which means... This, no. Okay, but he said he was going off of the stats this year, right? Now, I'm not 
positive on this, but I'm I'm thinking that I'm thinking that uh didn't Jimmy get hurt this year? I think Jimmy got hurt this year, if I'm not mistaken. Julius Randle, which is my guy once again, he's not better than Jimmy. I'm not I'm not giving I'm, that's not no. No, hell no. You could put Zion above him. I mean Zion did really good this year. His stats are okay. really good, but Julius Randle's team had a little bit better record. Okay, bro, no. So that's why I got him a little bit higher up. No, but you I got CJ with the notch above Jimmy, but those are switchable. I mean, Zach Levine, you could put Zach Levine over CJ and Jimmy. I want to see what he said about Chris Paul. He averaged 27, I think, but it was on the Yeah, it's on the blue. My my nigga. Maybe you want to put him over. Like I said, the the 21 through 30 is, you can do what you want with that. I got Rudy Gobert, notch above Bam. And then I put Chris Paul at 30 just for y'all, really. (laughs) This nigga's ass, bro. This is ass. What the hell? I don't know why you hate on Chris Paul so much, bro. Yeah, man. That's my top thirty. Shit's ass. I hope I didn't forget anybody. I checked the website just to make sure that there wasn't now guys that I don't see that I think should have made it. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna tell y'all that because they'll be mine. You know what I'm saying? But, alright, cool. That's the end of this video? No, he got a couple more seconds left. Players that I missed, but the the website's top 25 looked way different than mine, and they came out a few weeks ago. <laughs> Theirs looked way different than mine. This is mine. Right. I think mine's pretty spot on. I think this is the best list I ever did. No, my guy, you, you missed. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. You missed, my guy. What you would change. You missed, bro. But I think I think I like it. I like doing this list better as soon as the season ends versus way. Right, right. I you understand know, it. To the ones about to start, cause it's a little bit easier to remember stuff. Yeah, yeah. I get that. But yeah, anyways, that's gonna do it, man. Leave likes. All right. So that's 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 it. That's it for that uh for that video right there, bro. Uh, like I said, I don't agree with. I don't agree with his twenty through thirty, really. I would rearrange a lot. You guys gonna get to see that. Uh, I don't know why you don't like Chris Paul, bro. Chris Paul is a legend, and he's been, man, bro. Wherever Chris Paul go, bro, like when he was in New Orleans, he was making playoff runs in New Orleans, and he went to the Clippers. Clippers was not good, my guy. The Clippers wasn't good at all. They were fucking ass. He went there with Blake and DeAndre Jordan, became Lob City. They go to the, they start making playoff runs. They didn't ever run a ring, obviously. Uh, then he went to what the Rockets with James Harden. Uh, even though they had some little controversy, they were making playoff runs. I almost, I almost went to the NBA Finals if Chris Paul don't get hurt. Uh, I think and also, and, and when he played for the Clippers, he got hurt. Hitting the game went against the Spurs. I think they would have went. When they, I think it was against the Spurs. I don't think then I went on to play against OKC, okay, if I'm not mistaken. Or was that Golden State? One of those two teams and uh couldn't make it, but bro, Chris Paul Y'all see where I'll put him when I'm when I'm doing my list. This video is getting long. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you like, share, let me know. Uh well, y'all can let me know Friday on my list. Let me know what you think of his list. Let me know if it was if it's uh if it was good or trash. That's y'all just be like was it great or was it was it babbage? That's what we used to say out here. Man, nigga, you babbage. <laughs> that's that's crazy. We used to say a lot of dumb shit. Nigga, you babbage, nigga. <laughs> I don't even know who came up with that. Anyway, all right, y'all. Appreciate the support. I got all what say that. Appreciate the support. See you guys later. Bye. Ugh.